Okay, hi everyone. After having looked at the items that we find in a trading account, so what is our learning objectives? We are going to prepare a trading account. The format of a trading account. There are basically two formats that are used to prepare the trading account. That is one, the horizontal format or T format and then the vertical format. So we shall start with the horizontal format or T format as I said, not forgetting whenever you're preparing your trading account the title should come first. You have one side for DR and CR. DR meaning debit and CR standing for credit side. Then you're going to go ahead and include particulars, francs, francs, if it is London francs, then particulars is the same as details, francs, francs. We shall start with our opening stock. We put it the amount in the second column. Then we add, we get purchases, put them in the second, in the first column. Add courage inwards, which is purchases plus courage inwards, you come to XXX, less returns outwards, XXX, then we come to our net purchases. Then we shall get also the cost of goods available for sale, which is XXX, and how do we get the cost of goods available for sale? That means we are going to get our opening stock plus our net purchases. Then we come to COGAS. Less closing stock. When we subtract the COGAS minus closing stock, we come to the cost of sales or cost of goods sold, which we name the B. And how do we get our gross profit? So on the other side, again, we get the same, get sales, XXX, less sales return, XXX, and then you come to your net sales. So to get gross profit, we shall get our net sales minus the cost of sales, which is minus B, and then we get our GP. Ensure your trading account has to balance. So the amount that we shall get here as have we have four x's x x x x on the credit side should equal to the amount on the debit side x x x meaning that when you add gross profit plus the cost of sales we come back to this total so that is to do with the horizontal format we continue with the vertical format again we do the same title first this time around, we don't have debit, we don't have credit. We shall include one comb for particulars, amount, amount. Amount. So, we shall start with sales, XXX, as you're seeing that, the second comb, less sales returns. Is a spend mistake, the error is missing. Less sales returns, so, after subtracting that amount, we shall come to our next sales, which we carry to the last column, which is XXX. And we have named it A. So less cost of sales. Our cost of sales is this that we're going to below, which is opening store. We put the amount there. Purchases, get it. Add courage inwards, we do the same subtract less return outwards then you come to your net purchases of which you have named C then we say the opening store plus our net purchases gives us the cost of goods available for sale okay less the closing stock and how do you get the closing store okay you get the closing stock you subtract it and then you come to our cost of sales, cost of goods sold, which is E, taking it that side. Then, to get our net sales minus the cost of goods sold, which will come to our gross profit. As simple as that. So, in the exam, sometimes 
the examiner might ask you to use any of the format or use an open question and it's up to you which format to use. Let's look at this example here. Big grant transactions for year ended 31st December 2007. They had sales of 200,000, purchases 90,000, storage inwards 2,000, sales returns 10,000, opening stock 6,000, purchases returns 3,000, and closing stock 4,000. All of them are in pounds. So how do we do it? The title first, and now here I give you an example using the vertical format. We have started with our sales, 200,000, less returns, inwards 10,000 and we come to 190,000 then opening stock 6,000 plus get purchases purchases 90,000 courage inwards we add it then we come to 98 then the returns outwards, we subtract them off and we come to 95, then less closing stock of 4k, we come to 91. So then our cost of sales is equal to be 190 minus 91, and then we come to 90. Cost of sales, we have 91,000. And then our gross profit is equal to our sales net sales of 190 minus 99,000 as simple as that so again not a trading account is prepared by a business which sells goods for itself to make a profit a service business like a travel agent will not prepare a trading account There's another example there. The following information is expected from the books of Sasha Limited. Opening stock that much, purchases that much, sales that much, returns in words, returns outwards, closing stock. Then you ask to prepare Sasha's trading account for the month ending. So this is how you're supposed to do it also. Here we used a T format and we started the open stock of 154,000 on the debit side. Purchases 180, less purchases returns of 48,000. Then we come to 1752. As I make purchases, then goods available for sale 1966, less closing stock of 80,000, cost of sales 1.826,000. Then on the other side, we shall get our sales 2.5, less returns inwards 55,000. Then when we subtract, we come to 2,445,000. Then we balance our books below. Two four four five thousand now we get a gross profit as we said up there we shall get our net sales minus the cost of sales which is six one nine thousand i think you can also try this out prepare a trading account that we need that information so take time to attend to thank you for watching hope everything was clear See you there.